Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Mesco 112 Collective, the Invincible Iron Man. And I believe this is Mark 42. Anyways, I'm here's the left of the box. Here is the right of the box and here's the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in the inner packaging, looking beautiful. And let's check out the figure itself. All right, so here we have the figure itself. And I'm really impressed by the figure. Um, going in, I didn't really know what to expect because I believe this is my first Mesco figure without any cloth goods, which is what they're known for. Um, but yeah, um, everything is very nicely painted and sculpted. I like the metallic gold, um, the matte finish, um, the black and gold looks really good. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. And the most surprising thing to me here is actually the amount of die-cast metal they use in here. I know this figure is going to have die-cast metal, but I didn't expect it to be this hefty. Like This feels really, really nice. And yeah, um, I think we can jump straight into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. Um, and his shoulder is just on a hinge. You can raise his arm up about this much. Um, you can turn 360, no problem. Bicep swivel, you can curl about this much, and you do get the ball raise. And for the eye crunch, you can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much, have some pretty good side to side movement. And for the leg, we do get the pull down method, and you can kick up about this high bend about this much and you do get thigh swivels um pretty decent side to side pivot um and no toe hinges and yeah, i believe that's it for the articulation the only issue i have with this articulation is probably the leg um this feels a little bit loose to me consider how heavy he is but it's not too bad if you're displaying him with a stand or something but yeah um let's check out some accessories and before we get into the accessories, let's go over some features. Uh, first of all, you can take off the faceplate. And the first time you do it, it's going to be really hard. Uh, most people will probably chip the paint over here. So I suggest you to heat it up or something. And we do get Tony Stark face under, um, of course, which is fairly nicely painted and sculpted. The paint could definitely be a little bit sharper, but I don't think it's that bad. And this is magnetized. Um, it won't really fall off unless you really try. Um, and yeah, um, we do get a light up feature as well. Just take this off. Uh, I already put the batteries in there. Let me just turn this on. Yeah, very, very cool. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of this pill pen hands, and these are very nicely painted and sculpted. And next up, we get a pair of poser hands, and you can stick the effect parts in here. And it's actually really cool they painted the holes. I don't think Bandai does this. And lastly, we get a bunch of different effect parts and they're all very nicely painted and sculpted. And I think I'm just gonna go over them during the action poses. So let's just get to it. Anyways, that was just some quick posing and I hope you guys enjoyed them. And after playing around with it, um, the articulation is still a little bit limited compared to SH Figuarts, but that is to be expected. Um, it does look amazing though. And yeah, um, let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Mesco 112 Collective. And I think he scaled fairly well with the others, but I know some people complain about Iron Man should be a little bit bigger because it's a man in a suit. But I don't know, I think that might make him a little bit too fat and not comic accurate. But do let me know in the comments on what you think though. And next up, we have some good old Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts. And then we have the Naruto SH Fig Arts. Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. And then we have some American IP SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some Figma figures. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is pretty decent. But being a hardcore import collector, um, the articulation is just not good enough for me. But that said, I'm pretty sure you can still get him to some very cool poses. Um, I'm just really spoiled by Japanese imports. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. Um, it is a Masco exclusive, so it's going to be relatively harder to get. But if you really like the black and gold, I think you should just go for it. And yeah, um, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.